All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to start our PPC advertising course. Uh, so when you're looking for our pay-per-click advertising course, go to surfsideppc.com slash pay-per-click advertising, a hyphen between each word, so you can see the link at the bottom here, and you're gonna be able to find all the lessons in our course. We're gonna be creating this as we go, so right now there's not gonna be a ton there, um, but if you go to surfsideppc.com slash pay-per-click advertising, we're gonna have our entire course published over time. So this first part is just going to be pay-per-click advertising explained for beginners. So if you're just getting started with pay-per-click advertising, maybe you're just trying to learn a little bit more about it for your own business. Maybe you just got a job in pay-per-click advertising and you need to know more. We're going to continue to put out more and more videos about this so you can keep learning and so you'll be ready to go no matter what it is you're trying to achieve. So first things first, what is pay-per-click advertising? So pay-per-click advertising is a form of advertising where if you're an advertiser, you pay for each click to your website, or if you have a mobile app, something like that. So every single click that you're driving, you're paying for each click. You don't pay for impressions, you don't pay for anything like that, you're paying for clicks specifically. Now, Google Ads is the most well-known pay-per-click advertising network, along with Bing Ads. I consider Facebook to be a pay-per-click advertising network, even though technically it's not. Um, it's really considered social advertising, and you're generally paying for impressions on Facebook ads, but I still consider it to be a pay-per-click advertising network. Um, but ultimately what it is is advertisers are setting bids on keywords for clicks to their websites. So you're either bidding on keywords or you're bidding on audiences. Um, and you're, if you're an advertiser, you only pay when an advertisement is clicked. So we just recently did our Google Ads campaign, and you can find it here, Farmhouse Goals Search Campaign. You can see it right there. You can find it on our channel. Um, I would highly recommend checking out our pay-per-click advertising playlist uh, through YouTube, through our YouTube channel. We'll put the link at the top in the video description so you can find it easily. Um, but coming back over to Google Ads here, this is an example of a pay-per-click advertising campaign through Google. It's specifically a search campaign where we're targeting keywords related to farmhouse decor. Um, and if you can see here, there's impressions at the top here, there's interactions. For interactions, it's just going to mean clicks in this case for this campaign. And it's going to show we almost have 3,000 impressions and 16 clicks. And if you look, it's saying the average cost is 61 cents. The total cost is $9.77. So the average cost is our average cost per click. So we're only paying for these 16 clicks for our website. We didn't pay at all for any of the impressions that didn't drive clicks. So that's why it's called pay-per-click advertising is because you're paying for each click to your website. So next is going to be how does pay-per-click advertising work. So generally it works, you set a bid for clicks to your website. You're either bidding on keywords or you're bidding on audiences. And you're setting a bid for how much you're willing to pay for each click to your website. Now, bids can really vary. So for something like home decor, you might be bidding $1 to $2. For something like real estate, you might start bidding up to $5, $6, $7, depending on the market you're in. Some lawyers, some insurance companies, they probably bid upwards of $20, $30 per click. Uh, some of the top bids go above $50 for each click to your website. So how much you're paying for click generally depends on how much revenue each click can, can drive to your business. So for example, if you're a lawyer, you're willing to pay $50 per click because one client can equal thousands and thousands of dollars. Same with real estate agents, they're generally gonna pay more. Now home decor, even though you're selling high priced items sometimes, you're still only making a certain amount for each sale. So it really depends on what keywords you're targeting, what audiences you're targeting, and because you're entering an auction against other advertisers, so generally the amount you're willing to pay for each click depends on the other advertisers as well, how much they're willing to pay for each click. If other advertisers are willing to pay much more than you for each click, then you're going to have trouble ever winning the auction. Um, so the way it works is when you're bidding for something, let's say you and five other advertisers are bidding for a specific keyword, every time someone types something into Google, you're going to be entering an auction to try to get your advertisement out there. So we open it example in Google here. So if someone types in accounting software, if you can see right here, the top four results are all advertisements. So they're all based on accounting software. Each of these companies went to enter this auction. And then also on the right hand side, these are also ads as well. So these are considered shopping ads. Um, so these are search ads over here. These are considered Google shopping ads. So if you click through any of these, it's going to be considered an advertisement click. Um, and you can see sponsored up in the top right hand corner over here, you can see ad next to each of the URLs. So this is the way it works is these advertisers are entering an auction because they're bidding on the keyword accounting software and they're each bidding a certain amount. And if we come back over here, it's gonna say the advertisements that show are based on a bid and an ad's quality score or relevancy score. 
So basically, the way it's going to work, Google is going to take into account how much the advertiser is bidding, and they also use something called quality score, uh, which is going to look at their landing page. It's going to look at the average click-through rate historically for this advertiser. So it uses another score along with the bid to basically come up with what's called an ad rank, and each ad will be ranked in the Google search results based on their ad rank. So that's going to be a combination of quality score and bid. So that's basically how the auction works is it's going to take into account the bid, it's going to take into account the quality score, and whatever ad has the top ad rank is going to show at the top, whatever is second is going to show second, and so on and so forth. So that's basically how pay-per-click advertising works. You're bidding on a certain set of targeting, and depending on advertisers, other, other competitors, and different factors is going to determine how much you're paying, how often your ad shows up in the search results, and how often your ad gets clicked. So next is going to be how can you get started with pay-per-click ads. So you can start by using pop popular pay-per-click advertising networks, so Google Ads, Bing Ads, Facebook Ads. So all of these are very popular. You need a website or an app to promote, and then once you have your website and you're ready to promote, you generally want to create different landing pages. So landing pages is where you're going to be sending traffic to. And then once you're kind of ready to go, um, what you want to do is sign up with the pay-per-click networks, you enter your payment information and you can start by creating your first campaign. We have tutorials on our channel for how to get started with campaigns with all the top ad networks. Um, so if you want to get started definitely check out our tutorials and it's really easy to get started. I mean you just need to sign up, you need to enter your business information, you need to enter your website and then you just get started with creating your campaign and over time what you want to do is test and optimize. So is pay-per-click advertising worth it? So I think the key is testing and optimizing your campaigns. So I've worked with large companies. I've worked for large companies. Um, they run pay-per-click advertising ads every single day. Um, I've worked with companies that have million-dollar yearly budgets. And ultimately, they're trying to drive more leads and sales. And when you're trying to rank high in Google, it can be very difficult, especially when we come back to this example. So just for accounting software, so just to be ranked at the top here, you're still below four different links. There's all sorts of ads to the side. There's these links at the top. So it's becoming more and more difficult to get traffic to your website just through organic search. So that's why a lot of companies are running pay-per-click ads. So it's definitely worth it. Um, I think it's worth it for businesses of all sizes, but you do need to test. You do need more knowledge of pay-per-click advertising and the different pay-per-click ad networks, how they work, and how to get the best results for your budget. So this is our first lesson of our pay-per-click advertising course, basically what is pay-per-click advertising, and trying to explain it for beginners. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Stay tuned for more videos in our course, and make sure you check out surfsidepcc.com slash pay-per-click advertising, a hyphen between each word, and you'll be able to keep up with our courses, and you'll be able to go basically from beginner to intermediate, hopefully to advanced, so you can learn everything you need to know to get started. Again, thanks for watching our video today, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.